Sarah here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is kind of random. I've been doing a lot of botanical soaps. I've just been feeling the dried herbs and the dried flowers and you know, whatever I have laying around that I don't get to use very often. I'm not inspired a lot by all natural ingredients. I like doing the fancy soaps. Um, I've done a lot of soaps that didn't have high tops or frostings on them so I thought it was time to mix it up a little bit and do a botanical themed soap with some high topped frosting on it. So that is the plan here. Lots of oranges going on. The theme is peppercorns and orange. Not very spring I guess. Not really any season. Maybe, maybe a little Christmas, maybe a little fall. But, <coughs> excuse me. I'll tell you more about why this design came to mind as I get to the embeds on this. So I've just mixed together my lye solution there. It had sodium lactate and tussa silk in it into my oils that has coconut milk powder in it and kaolin clay. Uh, for some reason I can never say those things without wanting to run them together. <laughs> All right, so I've just whisked this together. I'm going to split this off into my first layer. So first layer I'm going to pour in here is going to be white. I'm going to leave it uncolored. I'm going to add a little bit of poppy seeds to it and I'm going to sculpt it. So let's add that titanium dioxide to it. I gotta remember not to eat anything spicy before recording. <laughs> That was a big mistake. Just want to keep clearing my throat. All right, titanium dioxide in there. No fragrance because I'll show you the fragrance um, later, but it has vanillin in it and it says it discolors. And so I do not want the white to turn any other color. I want it to be nice and white. So I'm gonna give this a mix. I have some poppy seeds here that I'm also gonna put in that bottom layer. But let's get this uh, mixed up and the poppy seeds in and that first layer to set up in our mold. I'm gonna pour this first layer in We'll wait till it is firm enough to sculpt and I'm going to use something new <sighs> new to me anyway this is a cake comb I've used one before but it was like zigzag and this one was actually longer <laughs> and I had Bradley cut it for me so that it would fit in my mold and I think that it almost matches that liner in there too that's really cute totally reminded me of like vanilla bean ice cream or pudding or something like that. Alright, got some Sahara Gold Mica and a tea strainer and I am going to put a mica line on here. That Sahara Gold is by um, Nurture Soaps. layer of soap I'm going to pour off just a little bit of accent color for a swirl and this is a satin orange yellow yeah satin orange yellow from workshop and into the big container I'm going to add some saffron orange that is also from workshop heritage I have got my fragrance mixed in here. It's called Peppercorn 
pomander from Crafter's Choice. It is an an essential oil and fragrance oil blend. So there's some natural uh, fragrance in there as well as the, as the synthetic. It has spicy notes of peppercorn, orange, golden sandalwood, and amber. And it says it has 0.80% Vatilin and turns the soap to a light brown. So that is why I did not incorporate it into that bottom layer. And I'm hoping that it doesn't do too much damage to the orange color here. But it is behaving very well. It keeps everything very liquidy. So I'm going to do a little in the pot swirl and get this poured into my soap mold on top of my sculpted layer. start getting some of this piping on top of here. I've colored it in some white and I have a 1M tip on here. I've also poured off a little bit of my batter and colored it orange for the very tip top of this just to have a little layer or variation to it. I'm going to put that orange on the top. that I want on top of the soap. I have some dried orange slices. I have some pink peppercorns and I have some very pretty safflower flowers. Safflower petals. <laughs> and the whole concept of this soap was designed around these orange slices. My co-worker asked them, asked me if I wanted them, asked them, asked me if I wanted them because she had made them, dried them herself for a project and had them left over and thought there's something that I could do with them and of course I was like absolutely I'm gonna put them on soap. So started with orange slices and then I got on Wholesale Supplies Plus and just started looking at some of the fragrances available that had orange in it. This one popped out because it had the essential oil and fragrance blend and I thought that really tied into the Soap that it's not 100% natural, but it has botanicals on it. Our last little slice on here. I literally pieced this soap together right before I filmed here. I was like, what colors can I go with this? What design can I go with this? All I knew is that it had the fragrance and the orange slices and maybe the peppercorns because of the fragrance. And it just made sense to me and so therefore this is what I came up with. <laughs> that same co-worker is the reason why my mouth is on fire. <laughs> this whole entire week, it is the very first week of March, is Dental Assistant Appreciation Week and so instead of just treating the dental assistants, she treats the whole office and she made like a fiesta she had chicken enchilada soup. She came in with even the vegetarian options for people. She gave everyone a bag of Doritos that said Nach Nacho Average Dental Tea, which was really cute. And I took mine home and I loaded it all up with the taco meat and uh, cheese and sour cream. I love hot sauce and I love jalapenos and I just went a little crazy on it. And then I was like, let me eat that and then film because you know that makes sense. All right, I think this soap is on fire. Hello, love how it turned out. All right, we'll give it a spray with a rubbing alcohol. I'll bring you guys back in 24 hours when I cut it.
All right, time to see what this looks like on the inside. And when I had the genius idea of putting botanicals on top of a high soap, I did not think about the fact that I cannot turn this on the side in this cutter because it's too tall. So I'm hoping I don't get any drag marks in there. Oh no, look, it, I didn't. I love it, you guys. It's so cool. Look how that turned out. It, all, it looks delicious. It reminds me of like a creamsicle type of soap, but it's not. It smells very light. The scent is not very strong. Not at all. I love the little sculptured layer in the bottom there. And the two-toned different swirls and all of these awesome botanicals on top. I love how this turned out. And I have never done that before. At least I don't remember doing that where I've put just a little dollop of different colored icing at the very top. Very cool. So when I first saw this fragrance and the name Pepper Peppercorn Pomander, the first thing that came to mind when I thought of Pomander was that it was a type of fruit. And then I realized that's not the case. And you guys, if you don't know what it is, you might recognize one if you saw it. And it keeps sliding all over the place. Um, if you've ever seen those oranges that people like to carve up in pretty patterns on them and stick clothes in them and maybe tie them up and hang them and they smell really good. That is an example of a pomander. They actually go back, they date back to the medieval times when it was like pestilence and foul smells all over the place that people would carry around these little balls, like metal ornate balls that they would fill with like perfumes and incense and flowers hoping to keep away things like infection or just to cover up bad smells. So that is an example. Just not a word that you hear or see every day, but why not make a soap by the smell, right? Cover up some uh, body odor maybe, or wash away some dirt, so not a bad concept. All right, I love how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This soap will be available on the April 24th shop update if you would like to get one. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more soap making, be sure to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.